Believe what you're getting from the FBI. That's what the media picks up on. They grab the FBI news releases and they run with that, but they don't want to report on what the judge had to say on November 9. What are your thoughts on the arriving here to begin this term based on the charges that were made and uh, that you this is a completed? This is a testimony to the work that continues. If my name was uh, Jamie Diamond or J.P. Morgan Chase or Brian Monaghan of Bank of America, if I was running Standard & Poor's, if I was running British Bank, HSBC, I would be standing here. Check out the accusations against him and all of his colleagues on Wall Street. That's what Ambassador Andrew Young was saying when he spoke to the court uh, during that week-long civil rights reunion down at the Federal Building. And Ambassador Andrew Young said, Judge, Your Honor, in the movement, we always ask the question, why does the government pick on us little peons? But they never bothered the big shots on Wall Street. Yeah, are you saying that there was no validity to any of the charges? This is validity to me violating the U.S. tax code one time. That's what I pled to. I pled to one count of violating the U.S. tax code one time because I signed a 1040 form. I mailed it in, but all of my income was not in the right spot. All of my expenses hadn't been placed in the right spot. And Governor Barnes said in the court, he said, Your Honor, if he had just took those expenses and claimed them for, for salary and paid tax on them, we wouldn't be here. Right. But the issue is not about money. That's how they trick you all. They get you off the case of Moore's Ford by saying money. <laughs> if it wasn't money, it was going to be sex. If it wasn't sex, it was going to be drugs. That's right. Those are the three things that the government always use. So you got to understand the, the, the history of how the government works when they want to shut down a movement. If we were not involved in this movement, and if we hadn't been doing the work that we've been doing since 68 when Dr. King assigned us to Monroe, and then 1982 when Abernathy revived the movement in Monroe, we wouldn't be standing here on this corner talking. Mr. Burst, can we um, just ask you what you plan to do while inside to keep the Morris Ford movement going? I will going. be talking and communicating with these folks here and beyond. Madge Owens, my right arm, my administrator for almost 30 years, will be communicating and running Morris Ford movement. Um, Bunny Jackson, Mayna Jackson's first wife, who owns First Class Media, will be communicating to the media around the world. We are setting up interviews with journalists, more journalists in Europe and Asia and Africa than here in the States. One thing we got yesterday while I was in Monroe was a call from someone who said, it would be great, Tyrone, if you could take us to all of the jails that you've been incarcerated in. He said, we got a long list from your law students who were here during the summer who compiled that long list. I said, yeah, it would take us probably a year to visit all those jails. So 